Eukaryotic cells have a compartmentalized structure, as well as being surrounded by a plasma membrane which controls what enters and exits the cell. They also have cytoplasm, which is the fluid in which chemical reactions take place inside. But the compartmentalization comes with all of the other organelles, the majority of which are membrane bound. The only exception to this would be the ribosomes, which are 80S ribosomes, as opposed to the 70S that you would find in prokaryotic cells. So the other organelles are membrane bound organelles. So a eukaryotic cell would have a nucleus, and the nucleus would control the cell's activities, which include mitosis, the replication of DNA, and the transcription of DNA as part of protein synthesis. A eukaryotic cell also has a smooth endoplasmic reticulum and a rough endoplasmic reticulum, the difference being that the rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to it. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is used for the synthesis of lipids, phospholipids, and steroids, also the regulation of calcium concentration and the detoxification of poisons and drugs. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, on the other hand, since it has ribosomes attached to it, its primary function is that of protein synthesis. In fact, that too is the primary function of these ATS ribosomes, whether they're attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum or whether they're free floating in the cytoplasm. The mitochondria you see here are the site of respiration and the Golgi apparatus is used for modifying, sorting and packaging macromolecules for cell secretion or for use in the cell. Cell secretion of these macromolecules would be by exocytosis. Finally, lysosomes are also found which are also membrane bound organelles. These contain hydrolyzing enzymes that will break down waste material and cellular debris. Now, if this were a plant cell, in addition, we would see a plant cell wall made of cellulose, and we would also see another membrane-bound organelle called a chloroplast, and this is the site of photosynthesis. So these would only be found in a plant cell. You'd also see a large vacuole. Focus on the fact that it's a large vacuole, because in animal cells, you would find only small vacuoles. So in conclusion, eukaryotic cells have a compartmentalized structure, because they contain membrane-bound organelles. This list here serves to remind you which organelles are membrane-bound. So you have the nucleus, the smooth and the rough endoplasmic reticula, the mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, and only in plant cells, chloroplasts.